welcome back. It's time to go werewolf, everybody. Well, not yet. Soon. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe just. I don't know. Do we have that? Do we actually have the option of denying it? I'm almost positive you can deny it. I mean, you can't continue in the quests until you accept it. But like, you can basically stop at that point. They basically are like, join us or leave or whatever. Like, come back when you want to join us as werewolves. Uh. Or if nothing else, you can just not meet them inside the cave or whatever. I don't know. Uh. Now that there's a cave right there that you can see an outline to. All I need is one to cut you in half. Well, oh. put it that way. That was nice. How much gold do you have? Do you train? He's got. One of the, I'm pretty sure he has 200 weapons that he trains. Some people don't but think I'm trains, smart. Like, Those people get stuff. my fist. Be nice. But you, I like. Um, there you go. Heavy armor. Oh, heavy armor. That's nice, too. Pretty I'll good. show you what I can about protecting yourself. How much? 782. That's pretty costly. Yep. But, I don't know how many thousands of gold you All right, have. Then. Kind of weapon Maybe you want to get your blocking up instead. I know that dude wasn't about to ask what kind of weapon I'm wielding. I don't know what kind of weapon that is. It's a sword. What's a sword? Okay. Alright, maybe it's Vilkas. Come to me with questions. I know our history almost as well as Vignar by now. Yeah, except I can I remember care about that. All so I hear so you brought honor to the oh, companions and place. yourself. Some of them might try. That's not what I'm looking for. Oh, wow. 100 golds. But they might get themselves killed. I'm looking for work. Skior was looking for you before. Be so lucky. Talk to him Skidor. before doing anything else. Eskador. Ah, there you are. Yes. I have something a little different planned this time. But it's not for everyone to hear. Meet me in the Underforge tonight. Uh, we will speak more. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't trust this I guy. forget that you've never seen it. Beneath the Skyforge, <laughs> where Yorland works. The door is hidden. It. Don't want to see it. But I will show you the way. Okay, so I thought there were like more quests before mm -hmm. you... Became a werewolf. Um, <laughs> so did I. I thought you had to at least do like go a few. Kill a bunch of the like silver hand. Is it silver hand? I, I think it's the silver hand. Yeah. Whoever the people were that tried to kill you. But maybe uh, you just fast track right into it. I don't know. I don't know. Also, I could have sworn there was someone that taught you shields in here, but I'm not sure. Maybe it's Callback or Korvac or what? Who's that guy? Uh, name. <laughs> She'll probably teach bows. Which you Archery. Can. Actually, that's not a bad thing. I've heard you may actually be stronger than you look. Perhaps we can hunt together someday. I wonder how much that is. I'll show you what I know. That's actually not bad at all. Nope. I'll do that. You have more in your horse, right? So, I'm sure you do, but... Hey. Oh, man. Oh! Go oh. get the money! Get the money! Go get the horse! Go get the horse! <laughs> Actually, get a bunch more, because then once you level, you can buy more levels of something. That is true. Horse, come on! He's all the way outside, aren't you? Yep. Oh well. But that's okay. Whistle. It's not gonna bring him inside the city walls. He just like knocks down the doors, <laughs> gates to the city, charges in. 
Great. Horse. Is this your horse? It caused great damage to the gate. And it stole my sweet roll. <laughs> okay. okay. Horses don't even like sweet rolls, idiot. Oh wait, where's my horse? There it is. Don't don't fuss or die. I wouldn't be fuser it, dying at me. Yeah. Yeah, whirlwind sprint right, <laughs> right, right head, <laughs> head right out of the air. Oh, uh, that would be tragic. Holy crap! Yeah, see, I would buy some heavy armor if I were you, because if you got four levels of that, you'd get your level fifty perk. You're gonna need more than that for the heavy armor. All right. You're gonna need like. I'll take half. Yeah. It's gonna cost you thirty five hundred, I think, or uh, maybe forty two hundred, something out. like that. Forty two hundred ish. You can use your horse to ride up to the gates. I'm saying. Oh, that's true. I'm lazy. I'm just like everyone do everything else for me. I'm like horse, take me there. <laughs> I don't want to run there. <laughs> I don't feel like running. Horse to exactly. the gates. You could have just got into the city to the map. <coughs> Well, that's what I was going to do. Oh, I thought you were just walking. You were, you were walking up there. Well, I was, and then I was like, wait, I can fast travel. And they were like, use the horse. I'm like, no, nah, that'll put him at the yeah. gate, so it's a little closer. I wonder if he'll like to stay there. He will. He's my horse. I bought him. He will stay wherever I put him. But we are going to have to do another jump cut. <laughs> You see, you do that in real life. Just dodge the three people. Look, man, you like this guy. Yeah. You guys want to beat music? This like crunk. Oh, what? <laughs> what? Am I interrupt? Do I need to? I I think I should go. Yeah. yeah. I think I should go. I'm gonna level up heavy armor now. He's a little old for that. I'm 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 scared. A little scared. I never thought they would actually let me join the companion. Now it looks like well, the Skewer says that I have the strength of Isgrimor. I'll show you what I can about protecting yourself. Gimme. So now, it is, you hit tab, it should level you up, right? Did it not All right, level you then. up? How did that not level you up? Well... Run, run in your armor. Run. There it is. Got it. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. Uh, health of things, what we were doing. Yeah. And uh, now go back out and get at least three more heavy armors. Some people don't think I'm smart. I don't I'll show you what I can about protecting yourself. Yay. 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 Yeah. Yay. Oh, four more? I thought it was... Okay, whatever. Whatever. Cool. Until next time. Why do I keep doing that? I don't know. Watch your level 50 perk. Ah, uh, I just... <laughs> okay. Oh no! <laughs> Your training made you stronger, and you are now less burdened by the rigidity of your armor. You also receive some additional stamina and carry weight. Oh, nice. Give me, give me. You got 40 stamina from that, which is basically like 25% boost. Overall. Yeah, really. That's pretty awesome. All right. That's great stuff. You're saving that perfect armor, right? Yep. Orcish, 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 Orcish,
Yep. Tell it until you run around. See what it's like. Ow. Oh, so you have your armor 52. It just wasn't leveling up quite like it said it was. But yeah, whatever. Does it seem any faster? Seems like your stamina is not going down quite as fast. Yeah, it's not going down in as big chunks. That's cool. about the same. Yeah. Still, so, walking around is not as hard. Actually, just walk. Oh, there's that. that's going to be your block skill. It still takes a while. Mm -hmm. So, start walking and see if it goes up or down. It's still going down. Still going down, okay. Well, what ifs? I mean, if nothing else, the 40 stamina is nice. Yeah. And the carry weight it said, right? Yeah, and then up my carry weight. Don't know how by don't know how about how much. Once a day you can now push yourself to continue fighting, allowing your allowing you to regenerate stamina very fast. Furthermore, you learn some new tricks to un overcome the mobility limitations of your armor. Oh, so you move faster. That would make me move faster. You reach perfection in the skill. Your armor can now be worn with less effort and protects you even more. Nice. That will be nice, but that'll be a long, yep. long time from now. Can you purchase one more level? I can. Thinking I, feel I, like I always I'll would show you what I can about protecting more. yourself. You're gonna get more gold. You know you will. Maybe not purchase more of that one. All right then. Because that's starting to get pretty high. Like maybe once you get to like 60 or so, you might stop. Yeah. Uh, it's starting to get really expensive, but like. I think I would always buy levels. Always worth it. Especially in Requiem. Uh, it's totally too worth it. Alright, well. Well, it's time to go see if I can get some more of that gold back. Yes. And so we ended up spending uh, a lot. I'm sure you'll find much. Everything's for. Wait, that's not right. Is it? Do you have it jacked up right now? Yeah, remember? Okay. We weren't going to bring it back down because I'm just going to have the cart. Right, right, right. Okay. I forgot about that. Well, that's the kind of a side effect of the cart perk. <laughs> Don't have to worry about your other perks. Oh well. Yeah, that's just one thing with uh, Requiem that I've just never been able to get over is the weight thing. Just can't do it. Just can't get past that hurdle. What do you mean? Just playing the game with regular weight limitations. Oh. It's, it's just awful. Like, and I know it's... I guess realistic, but still, it just, it isn't fun, I guess. And that's what we play games for, is back. fun. I'd even trinkets, Although odds and ends, that, that sort of fun thing. In general, just because it, uh, <laughs> Just because of the difficulty. The difficulty. But I, I like difficulty. I just don't like monotony and... And, uh, you know, pointless rework kind of stuff. Like going to a dungeon dungeon five times just to clear it out of loot that you could have gotten. And it's just boring to me. Yep. Also kind of why I've kind of started getting away from strategy games. I can't stand playing like two hours on a level or something and then messing something up I messed something up in the first five minutes that made me basically lose. I just didn't know it for two hours. And then I lose the mission, Remember, and I'm like, gotta start all over and do the whole thing again. But I just did. That's not fun. Oh, that sounds horrible. Yeah. StarCraft was rough for that, man. When, when you play a StarCraft mission, those were horrible back in the day. 
was like, like the earlier ones were easy, but then we got towards like the tenth mission or so. It's like this is impossible. I hated the fact where you felt invincible because you came up with all these strategies, and then they came up with a mission that the computer always cheated on. Yeah. And it was always like a little over halfway through the game. Mm -hmm. They there would be that one mission. That you either had to defend a base, you had to hold out for the time elapsed, and you had to make sure that something didn't die or get destroyed. Right. And somehow, somehow the computer would find a way to do it before the time was allotted or just get through your defenses. Yeah. They'd have a force to break down your wall and get in. They'd have a spy that just snuck in and destroyed the thing thing. Oh, yeah. It was horrible. Like, I, I can't tell you how many times I rage quit strategy, real-time yeah. strategy games. Uh, they're my favorite games to play, but I swear to God. Yeah, some of them are rough. Oh, I, I gotta say, you were talking about spies. Like, it reminds me of Alpha Centauri. Like, one of the most douchebaggery things to do is to make rogue teams, and you can just basically spend money to just take over people's bases or units or whatever. Just like, uh, I want this base now. Like what? Like, yep. Yeah, I I just mind controlled them. They're they're ours now. It's like, but I I I've spent like years building this base. Like, it's mine now. Like, <laughs> yeah. What? You built a guy that took three turns to build, and you took over base with it. Yeah. Sun is setting on sun's dusk. Because it's sun's dusk? Yeah. So, yeah. Is this the, um, yep. about to do the quest thing? Yep. Yep. It's decision time, boyos. Well, don't they go outside, though? I never thought they would actually oh, yeah. let me join the companions. The Underforge. But now it looks like they're letting anyone oh, in these yes, days. Yes. Yeah. So, I would say before you go out there and just be like, okay, like, let's see if they'll let you not be werewolves, but if they won't, then I don't know what to tell you. Except that I don't think your character wants to be a werewolf. That's my interpretation of your character. Yeah. I would say no as well. But I want to... Remember the time when you tried to fight that dragon? No. Because I remember it. I think you remember wrong. I remember like you, you were just withering away. <laughs> And then like I don't remember it. When you were almost a skeleton he just blew you up with a firebomb. I don't remember it. Yeah. I don't even, I don't remember trying something stupid and trying to hit it in the face and it clipped me once and I died. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised it didn't just like chomp you and eat you up inside. like the animation you thing, fall. you know. Why'd you just disappear? Are you prepared? Here's all you need to know. Yorvaskur is the oldest building in Whiterun. The Skyforge was here long before it was. And the Underforge taps an ancient magic that is older than men or elves. We bring you here to make you stronger, New Blood. Now let's move. You still need to prove yourself, Whelp. Until next time. Okay. I would hope you recognize Ayla, even in this form. She's agreed to be your forebear. We do this in secret because Codlack is too busy trying to throw away this great gift we've been granted. He thinks we've been cursed, but we've been blessed. How can something that gives this kind of prowess be a curse? So we take matters well, into our own you're hands. Down. I'll tell you how. To reach the heights of the Companions, you must join with us in the shared blood of the wolf. 
Are you prepared to join your spirit with the Beast World, friend? That is your choice. We will not force you. But to join the Circle, your blood must be as ours. Meet us here when you're ready. Okay. I'll take my leave then. Yeah. Man, she's scary. What big teeth you have. Not nearly as sexy in marble form. <laughs> Oh, it's a back way to Skyrim. Where does that lead? Where does it go? Outside the walls, I believe. Well, let's find out. And can you get back in? Who knows? The answer would be no. Um, well, if you jump down, no. If you go back in, you probably can. Well, yeah. Uh, I'm stuck down there. Okay. Well, you didn't want to become a werewolf anyway. Nope. That's interesting. But I'm willing to bet that's just the way that the, you got out as a werewolf, so it kind of did it to make sense of the way. Oh, uh, right. Because to get outside the city walls without having to go through the city itself. Right. But... I guess they didn't expect you to go out as normal and not be a werewolf because there's no way back. <laughs> Except through the main gate, of course. Well. Yes. Alright, uh, what are we doing? So not, not dragons, not storm cloaks, not werewolves. Is there anything we can do? Is there like a Christy little club quest where we sit around and drink tea and talk about nice ideals? Like, <laughs> I feel like your character would be great there, Jake. <laughs> yeah, you just keep looking at me like that. It's like, <laughs> I feel like the backhand's coming. Gonna lean I'm over old, my chair. I'm holding it back <laughs> <laughs> as best I can. All right. Well, what are we gonna do? Silver hand. Well, no. nope. Nope. Um, I don't know what that is actually. Lithius mentioned in his note. I have no idea what that is. King Olaf's verse. Yeah, for the bardic college thing. You're not really a bard. Nope. Lost expedition. Well, let's try it. I do not know what that is. So, let's see what that is. It is... Uh -huh. Oh! That's what it is. To Markarth. To Markarth, ho! What'd you call me? <laughs> You're not gonna have to like. What the? Soldier party. I guess. Every other one has a torch. Very perfect. I really wonder what the AI. I, f I figured out that sometimes that happens in everywhere. Like, there's just a big group of guards just walk around. Yeah, the game rendered them and it was like, oh crap, I forgot to put them in their places. It just right. rendered them all in one spot. Yeah. Well, just behave casually, everybody, and they just walk off. Wait, this isn't like the. No, 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 that's a different class. I was thinking of the, the elves. No. No. What is this quest? I don't remember this at all. If it's here, it seems real. 
really dangerous. No, okay, no wait, I know what it is. Yeah, you're gonna go down there. That's right. I remember this. I do remember this now. Yeah. I'm Calselmo's nephew. I help him around the laboratory. Back nice. to my studies then. Nice. Where's Calselmo? Probably still. Asleep. Yeah, it is five eleven. He's a, that guy's an early riser. I gotta tell you. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. You give an old man hope. Oh. You are? Very good. May I see it? Excellent. Very good. This is exactly what I need to complete a series of studies I'm doing on Dwemer craftsmanship and magical resonance. I simply must have this. I'll pay you double what it's worth. Okay. <laughs> Is it really like? Oh yeah. There's Wonderful. no option for just like. You've just made that. an important contribution to the advancement of a Dwemer scholarship. Oh boy. Twelve septums. What? Oh, goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Well, considering he gave me twelve septums, he paid me double what it's worth. Uh huh. And I sell it for nothing otherwise. Alrighty, let's delve down into the Netchwed Net Nichuanzel Whatever. Is this where I need to be? Um get your man. Yeah. Yep, okay. Definitely killed the spiders. Yeah. Remember that part. Remember you freaking out about the spiders. It's because of all the little baby ones on the ground. It was just... Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, I think if I ever make a game where, like, I have spiders in them, when you kill one of the spiders, it just explodes into, like, four more little spiders. No. Like, we're not gonna slime it! Woohoo! Nice dodge. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You little... Oh, no, the switch is Nope. Dang it. Smash it. Hmm. Oh no, not another one. Nope. Oh, you shot it first. Damn it. Yeah, but you still love the first and shit. <laughs> That's good. I, I, I love doing that. What are you doing? <laughs> Try is going after it. I will destroy you. There you go. Switch back on there. Dude, she casts like some spell on herself or something. Probably heal. Took a potion. Oh, I put okay. some potions on her. Forgot about that. Well. I'll buy no spider. That's interesting. What's it get on it? Spittle. Probably nothing you want, but hey, probably a little bit. It, it, uh, there you go. Mm. Well, onward. It seems like the spiders have respawned. Ooh, I wonder if that means that the main one did. So paranoid. Oh. Or you can pick up the spider sacks of things. I'm good. Oh, maybe it's fine. Maybe there's no more spiders. Oh, 
you touched it. Oh, Jake. Gross. I've heard of people touching worse. Yeah? What, like, orc testicles? Ogre, ogre testicles? Yeah. Yeah, that definitely happened. But only after my player stabbed it in the testicles. <laughs> oh, man. Would you like to hear about this one, folks? <laughs> uh, I mean, that's, that's kind of what it was. They were just trying to, you know, intimidate slash persuade an ogre not to be too ogre -y. And uh, when he refused, one of them stabbed him in the junk. Um, and uh, he was uh, trapped under a log at the time. And uh, started throwing up in his own mouth because, you know, that's what you do when you get stabbed in the junk. That's why I didn't do this. Ah, right, Palmer. Yeah, take a shot. You're much more powerful than you were. And you get right out here. Oh yeah, we're just gonna be good. She... Yeah. Anyway, while this guy, while this ogre is bleeding out from its testicles and choking on its own vomit, they uh, frantically try to save his life because they want to have a pet ogre. Because, you know, like they do. <laughs> um, and so they're like, quick, healer, you have to heal its sliced up, circumcised testicles. <laughs> so she's freaking out. She's like, I don't want to touch that. And like, yeah, you have to. She's like, do I have to touch it there? Like, yep. I mean, that's Which is totally not true. Meh. Here it is messing with her a bit. They're like, put on, can I put on a glove? Like, there's no time, you just have to heal it. <laughs> so she does. Doesn't really help the puke in his mouth though. So uh, one of the players just uh, decides to start shoveling, you know, with his fingers, puke out of the ogre's mouth. He's like, don't you dare bite down on my hands as he starts shoveling it out. Never before have I ever run a game where they were so dedicated on saving an ogre's life. <laughs> it, uh, I'll never forget it. And now neither will you. Yeah, it's disturbing, isn't it? That's, that's who I play with. Just saying. Now watch out. Oh, man. Get him, Maria. Oh, wizard. Take the shot. Oh yeah, right in the armpit. Oh, Raya's stuck in the cold. It's okay, it'll dissipate. That's going away. I own Falmer's sword. I noticed. <laughs> What's that? One. It's time to save. Yeah, it's always Well, good. actually, it's not time to save yet. Oh, it's time to save. It's always time to save. Not yet. Because I noticed something else. What? I'm not glowing. Oh, you never are. <laughs> I know. Oh, and. When they took the ogre, who they were trying to befriend, and they had tied up, tried to take him into town, uh, into like a big city, the guard was like, no, like, the ogre's not gonna go in town, and they're like, oh, come on, why not, it's just an ogre, we're, we're watching him, and he's like, I wouldn't really be a good city guard if I just let an ogre into the city, like, it doesn't just happen. They're like, okay, well, fine. And I'm like... <laughs> I bet it's because that's still active. Oh, combat? Maybe. Oh, well, it just ended, so... Try it now. Uh, just get far away. It might be just because of a uh, distance to one of them. Yeah, definitely if you go through there, it has to stop. So, I 
have to say, you handled those Falmer much better than last time. Yep. And it's probably only because, you know, as a red guard, she's what? tanking that. What? Yeah, yeah. Don't know what to tell you. Can, can you still take it off? Or is it still going? No. Out? Is it is it just saying that? Because I feel like one time you did that. No, it's oh. it's still on. Well, run, Forrest, run. Stepping on the bones. Your predecessors tried to take this cave by themselves. Get turned into spider meal. Oh, hidden iron vein. To start glowing now. It's a beautiful song. <sighs> so annoying. Oh, there was four back there. Did we get the iron ore when we first came through? Don't know. Probably not. By the way, have we ever did we ever look up the uh, respawn times for iron veins? Oh well, we didn't really have to. We know, like, uh, we can change it. I think in the menu, but like, normally it, it just. Takes like 30 in game days, right. which is a lot. Yeah. I don't like the fact. Try it now. Hey, we can do it. The thing that you wanted to do. Yeah, now. Yeah. So, I know you're not big into restoration, but I find like the. Best, or my favorite restoration talent ever, ever, is uh, the one where you get stamina back when you heal. That's like amazing. And so, like, if you have your glowy aura going and it's healing you for like one HP per second or something like that, it'll also be restoring one stamina per second, which is pretty cool. I mean, it's not overpowered. What is that? Um. Respite, I think is the name of it. Uh, but basically, it's however much healing you get through casting a healing spell, you get that much stamina back. So, really? I've, I've never used it in Requiem, um, but in Vanilla Skyrim, it was like my absolute favorite. Uh, so, and it's, I mean, it's That's cool. kind of silly if you think about it, because in Vanilla Skyrim, stamina was almost worthless. But. Uh, if you were like heavy shield blocking or whatever and you just uh, drained stamina a bunch it was a really easy way to get a bunch of stamina back which was probably why the paladin build was so overpowered uh, in, in vanilla like because if you just had a sword and a board and uh, some resto magic you just were on stop because you're you know your health barely go down, and your stamina would barely go down, but then when it finally did, you'd use your magic, which you had ample amounts of, to cast one healing spell, and it would, you know, heal up your half your health bar and half your, mat, or your stamina bar, and you're like, well, I'm right back in the fight, and wow. it was just so unbelievably stupid. I made that build, and it got really boring. Because you kept killing everything? Yeah, there was absolutely no challenge in anything, ever. Some people like that. Yeah, it's fun every once in a while for about five minutes, and then you're like, oh yeah. It's kind of like when I played, um, what was that game? Saints the Third. 
Was it? Um, the uh, Saints Row game. Saint, oh, Saints Row 3. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I ended up beating the game. I got all the damage negating perks. Yeah. So, all. So, and the, after that, the game got really boring. But if ever I had to rage quit a game or I just wanted, you know, like I was just getting really mad, I would, I would put in the game, mm -hmm. equip a rocket launcher because I had infinite ammunition. And yep. just go in the middle of a busy street and start blow blowing crap out. Yeah. Yep. I get max. I get. I get max police force. They come at me with tanks and planes and all this other stuff. I would just keep on blowing it up. And the best part was that if I got gang, like if I got one or two gangs in the mix. Oh. Because then I got if, notoriety with them. Weird how you're saying that because it sounded like you said if you got gang, and then you paused. And yeah. I, well, that's because I started being bad English. Take him out. Don't get hit yourself. He doesn't know where you are. That's probably what was doing it. I guarantee you that's what was doing it. Watch out. He's going to paralyze the crap out of you. Yeah. Oh, nice dodge, too. Uh, how did she get down there? Oh, nice! That was awesome! Yeah. Just a slow mo of. Right. Yeah! Oh, How thing. did she, she just get fell down, down there? She just fell down, that's what she did. She jumped. No, she went this way. Oh, did she? But that still seemed really fast. She ran. Okay, but. Alright. But that was awesome! And we have that on record. On record? On rec on you know what I meant. Yeah, I got it. Mm, Dollar American Fighter Man. <laughs> Why did you say that as if it was tasty? Get some of that in your tongue, mate. Mmm. Yum 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 yum. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't Who's scare me it? like that, man. Boo! Alright. I hear something. Oh god, what do you hear? I hear a pump. I have to finish the exploration next time. Next time, journey into the depths. See ya.